Yo! What is that? What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I just got something in that I'm super, super excited about and it is a brand new flavor of Indomie. I think it's a brand new flavor. I've never seen it before and a bunch of people in my comments were telling me down below that it is a brand new flavor. And I am really, really excited to show you guys this. It is the chili flavor and I do not know how to say what it actually is, what flavor that is, but I really like the packaging on this. The packaging is really cool. I like all the green. All the green, like the green border sick. I mean, I just think it's like crazy cool packaging. I don't know why I really like the green, but it looks really cool. And it is a green chili flavor. And it says chili haja, haji, haja. I, I can't say that right there. If you guys want to tell me how to say that, I'm totally down. But I don't know what that is. But it is really cool. It looks really cool. I'm super excited about it. And yeah, let's do it. Crack this bad boy open. It's a fried noodle. I'm pretty sure it's not a soup noodle. It says fried noodle on it. But it's not a fried. You get five in here. See that? You get five. Like, oh, yes, yeah, but there's five in here. That's pretty cool. I like this packaging. It's really cool. I like this, like, little five pack. It's sick. Like, I would love to go to the store and be able to pick up this five pack. That would be awesome. And then here's the normal, which is the same thing. You see that? It's the normal flavor right there, or the normal packaging, not the normal flavor. But it looks really cool. I'm really excited about it. It looks, looks super awesome. I mean, I've, I'm just like, I'm really curious to see what these green noodles taste like. That is awesome to me, because I've never seen colored ramen noodles or colored Indomie, and that's really cool. And as far as the directions go, it looks basically just like Indomie Mi Goreng. You're just gonna, you know, put it in there, strain it out, put it in the bowl, and then throw the whatever the packaging is or the packages are into the actual noodles and then stir it up. Which looks pretty cool because I know how to do that without messing that up, and I'm excited about that. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. Let's crack this open and see what these green noodles are like. Uh, oh, nice. That looks satisfying. What? They look exactly the same. So how are they green? What? I was still thinking they were gonna be like a block of green ramen. What is this? So you have your normal noodles. It's normal. Just cool with me. But how do they make it green? Oh, yo! What is that? Yo, that is cool. So, that is super green. Do you guys see that, right? That is so cool. I hope this flavor tastes really good because I really like this green. Look at this green. Yo, it is so green. Look at how green that is. And then I guess beside it is your normal sweet soy so sauce. I guess it is. That I mean, if it is, I'm super excited because I love it. And it looks like a bigger package of soy sauce, which is awesome because I love that stuff. And then you have your normal flavor of Boomba, your seasoning pack. Or boom boo or boom. Bo People have been telling me and I still can't remember how to say it. I'm sorry guys. But yeah, it looks cool. It's different. It's not a two-pack one like usual. But yeah, that's really cool. Alright, so I'm gonna go crack this. Alright guys, so I'm gonna go throw this in the water, get it ready, get it started, and I'll be right back to try this. Alright guys, we're back. I got my steaming hot noodles. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there, look really good as always. Then I've got my seasoning oil and my soy sauce. This stuff is so green, look at that. It is so green, it's kind of pretty though. It's got green with like black flakes in it. I'm super excited about that. And then I've got my boom boo, or boom ba, or boom boo. I think it's boom boo, I'm never gonna say this right. And my seasoning pow powder, seasoning powder, yeah, my seasoning powder. So, now I'm gonna put it together and eat it. So let's go. I have no way of opening this. Huh. Let's try this method. I'm gonna go like this, pour in the seasoning. It's really white this time. It smells just like Indomie. 
Migorn, like the normal packages of Migorn. Maybe a little different. It smells really good. It smells very similar, but it looks different. It's like white. I don't know, like, it's like super white. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that on camera, but it's like super white. All right, so now then I'm going to put in my soy sauce and my seasoning oils. I'm going to go with soy sauce first because I'm not really excited about this because, I mean, it's the best stuff usually, but I want to wait for the green stuff. So I'm going to pop this in. So cool, it's always like molasses. I think this one gives you more. This stuff looks so awesome. I love this stuff. Get out of there. Get that, I want all of it. Give me all of it. Got it on my hand. Mmm, so good. All right, now, this is the crazy stuff. This stuff looks like the Hulk blood or, I don't know, something to do with the Hulk <laughs> got in a package and now I'm going to eat it. Maybe it's like radioactive. I always get plastic in there, but I don't care. All right, let's do this. It's like green goo. Oh my God, it's crazy. I mean, I'm assuming it's just the green chilies or whatever they use. It makes it look like that. It smells like chilies. Smells like chilies. All right, y'all see that? It's like super green and like gooey. Let's mix this up. I'm really excited about this. I'm super excited about this. Because I'm a picture, it's so green. But I don't know if it's going to be green because of the soy sauce. Do I have a little mix out here? not as green as the package is, which is kind of sad, because that was awesome. But my mouth is still watering because this smells so good. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is how green the package is. You guys can see that? But this is how green the actual stuff is. It's kind of like brownish green. Let's go for this first bite. Here's the first bite. There's the, that's what the littles look like. They're pulled out a little bit. But let's go for this first bite. Oh, wow. It tastes like normal Indomie me going, but way spicier. And that is awesome. Like, this is really, 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 really good. This is what I think the sweet and spicy version, or the spice, hot and spicy version should taste like. This is super spicy in, like, a good way. It's really good. Mm. This is literally the hottest Indomie I've ever had. The spiciest Indomie. It is super good. I really like it. It is burning my mouth, though. It's definitely, there's definitely a chili flavor in here. And that's definitely what's bringing the heat and the spiciness. And it does go across your tongue. It is a very good spice though. It's not like abrasive. It isn't really hard to eat, but it definitely is spicy. It's a lot spicier than any of the other Indomies. And it is really good. And it definitely, the sweetness kind of tames the, um, the heat. But yeah, you can definitely taste the green chilies in here. And it's a good thing. It's really good. Mm. That's so good. All right, guys, this is the last beautiful bite. Well, there's probably more than that, but this is probably the last big bite. Mm. So good. It is. It is such a good spice. It is really nice. I could eat like three or four packs of these. The only thing that this is missing is I think the fried onions and I didn't realize I was missing it towards the end because I couldn't figure out what I was missing but I realized there was no crunch to it and I'm so used to the crunch with Indomie that because it doesn't have it, it throws me off a little bit. It's not that it tastes bad, it just seems different but it's really good.
that is amazing. Alright guys, in conclusion, the original Indomie will probably always, 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 always hold a special place in my heart because I think it's amazing. But this one right here, this new one or this one in general, the chili flavor one, is probably my new favorite one. I really, really like the heat on this. It is super good. I don't know if I can eat it all the time just because it might hurt your tummy if you eat too much of it because it is so spicy, at least mine. But it is really, really good because it tastes very similar to the original Indomie but it has the heat that I want that the original enemy kind of is lacking but the thing that the original enemy has over this is the onions if this had onions I think this would be the most perfect endo meat ever made so I kind of want to see if I can get some onions and put it on this and try it with that and see how good it tastes because that might be the best endo meat ever so stay tuned I might be doing that but I do actually definitely definitely recommend that you get these if you can get them get them and try them at least try like one of them because if you like spicy things and you like indomie this will probably be your favorite like me because it is so good it is so amazing it is it's it's 10 out of 10 it's absolutely perfect so i definitely definitely recommend this get it that's it that's all i gotta say it was, it's ridiculous if you like this video, remember to smash that like button. If you want to see more, remember to subscribe because I'll be putting out videos weekly. And if you know anyone that likes it, please, please, please share it because it helps me out so, so much. And thank you for making it this far. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your support, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Peace. I think that endo me might have burned me.